Hello and welcome back to Rowley's Wheels. Today we're going to have a, a closer look at the wheels on this XF or Jaguar XF 2.2 diesel model. The car originally came with 17 inch alloys. They are all right but I felt looking at the cars as did the owner that the wheels were perhaps a little bit small although the tyres were uh, a higher, well, higher profile and not so low profile as 20 inch. But we've actually got um, put on this car 20 inch 5017 alloy wheels which are genuine Jaguar alloys which now feature on the later XF models. Uh, these are looking rather dirty so I'm going to give them a, a bit of a clean up. What I like about these wheels is that they are a two-tone you can see they're silver and they've got black inlays and these black sections on these wheels are actually held into place uh, from the rear with uh, star key bolts so nobody can actually pull them off or take them away but if necessary um, if there's a repair necessary for the wheel then from the rear you can actually take these insets off and the other thing is if you do mark the wheel on the curb edge and you do scratch them you don't necessarily have to you know try and have this repaired you need to get new ones so you can actually replace them quite easily so and also i like it because the wheels have big spokes you can get with my big hands you can actually get them well into the into the spoke of the wheel uh, to be able to clean into it uh, and slightly behind which is what i always like to try and do so i do the, the base first and then i'll do the back of the wheels after that but i've actually got little grooves in the sides to get into but they look really nice when it's all done and the red Jaguar badge in the middle which looks very smart if you notice also because these wheels have low profile tyres these have got um, Pirelli P0 tyres on, they have this bumper strip around the outside of the tyre wall to help protect the actual rim. Uh, I think it's necessary because obviously it's so easy when you're parking the car without even noticing you can actually score the edge of the rim but this is just a bit of a buffer to help you to come to the wheel really. Talking about tyres, um, I think it's probably a personal preference but I do like the Pirelli P0 tyres. Um, I have them on my own Jaguar XJR, the 2002 model. Um, I've got the Pirelli P0 uh, asymmetric tyres and the tread pattern changes across the width of the tyre. Uh, very good in the wet, very good in the dry. Um, but again, as I say, it's personal preference as to, as to the maker tyre that you want on your car. So um, you're probably wondering what I've got in my bucket, it looks rather soapy. Um, I really like to use the same um, cleaner as I'd use for the body of the car actually on the alloy wheels because it's quite gentle and uh, I'm not advertising for water glint but all I'm saying is as a personal choice um, I use this bodywork shampoo and conditioner which is really good for the body of the car, it's gentle, it's non-abrasive and it comes up with a really good result. It sparkles actually on a, on a nice metallic paint as well as a, a solid paint like this white is. And I suppose you're wondering um, what size tyres will go on a 20 inch alloy for Jaguar XF? Well this is shod with um, 255 35 profile, that's the actual profile uh, depth of the tyre um, by 20 which is the actual circumference, the diameter of the wheel. Uh, so they are quite quite low profile, so they are um, a 35 profile tyre, uh, which I think was quite smart.
So once I've rinsed off all the um, the water which had the conditioner on it, um, I, I've got a nice sponge which is a, a Spontex style of sponge which you, can, which you can buy from Holford's. Uh, it's even good on, on the body, it's like a cellulose sponge which is not abrasive, it's quite soft. Um, I'd say it probably does you about maybe seven or eight, nine, ten washes before it starts to break up, but at least it's a good way of drying the body and also the wheels. Um, some people use a chamois leather, um, that's fine uh, if you prefer to use a chamois, uh, but I like to get a hold of something I can, I can dry up with. So, drying off the wheels, I'm going to dress them as well with a bit of blacking on the tyre walls. So, I will now go and get the tie wall dressing. Right now, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'll just apply this, which just foams over the actual tire surface, but as it dries, it runs off all the water and also the muck and dirt um, and leaves it nice and shiny. We'll just show you how this works. Just dry it off first. And it's as simple as that. That looks great. So this is only a quick one for today. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a greater feature on this particular XF. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for watching. And please do remember to subscribe because there is a lot more coming. Uh, we're going to get more in detail, different cars and so on. So keep on watching. Thank you very much again.